starts and okay well my name is Gabriela Quiroz and I'm from Peru originally um, this is first time doing the Camino in a very different way because I'm doing it I'm passing through it and um, let's see what I like to do I like to well I'm an artist and I'm also like stories storytelling so anything I do with art is to tell a story and um, I've actually discovered that in the last couple of years because before I grew up well I grew up in a very particular home and country but all my art and everything I did I basically just did it for myself as a kind of uh, journal thing and I just store it under my bed for years and no one ever so I didn't really think I was any good at it and um, it's not until a couple of years ago that I show some to somebody and they were encouraging me to do more and so I kind of discovered that I can do something um, like art and do it kind of well I'm still learning a lot but I haven't had any training so I need to learn more yeah so I really like that and what do you like about art and what kind of painting do you do and what do you like to paint landscapes or no um, I uh, I love uh, poetry so whenever I paint I feel like I'm writing poetry so it's not anything necessarily real it's very it has elements that can be surreal but it's all mostly about um, doing putting an emotion in a canvas instead of reflecting some reality it's more like putting an emotion uh, but it's not completely abstract I have uh, an obsession with women's faces and women's eyes so that's something that I work with whenever I do and it's interesting and because yeah. you have your glasses on now and you're very oh, beautiful I so can't take them out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. It, what are some of the things that you find captivating about the eyes and the faces is it something you're seeing or what are you wanting to share through your painting well I feel like you can see a lot in people's eyes and they they can tell you a lot of emotions that you can't explain with words so you can show with even with facial expressions um, I feel like the eyes are like like it said like the windows to our souls you know that's kind of cliche but it really is and sometimes we can say a lot of things with our eyes and um, especially with women I feel like there's a lot of things that women keep silent and sometimes you can see it in their eyes but it's just like a glimpse and sometimes it's just like you know a fraction of a second and I like to capture that in a painting yeah so. and in one word what would the Camino mean to you well I really came to do the Camino just to help my friends I didn't really think much of it because I come from a country that is very similar to this I grew up in the countryside, uh, in the Andes, you know, it wasn't anything that I was looking to see, you know, something different. And I was actually surprised by, I think the thing that I like the most is just the relationships with other people and meeting other people that are very different. I actually came from before I came to Spain for the Camino, I was in France for uh, working on the Cannes Film Festival. And that's like super glamorous, all over the top, like super rich people, fancy parties, you know, like I went to all these events and I was 
wearing dresses and high heels every day you know and just like moving from that to the Camino to having like a backpack with the same clothes every day you know it's been like a huge change but I've really 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 like that and to me it's taught me a lot of things about like what we were sharing before about what really matters and do I really need that much of things, material things in my life? And what are, what is the important things that I really need? And it doesn't have to do with things that I can buy. So that was, you know, like I came to see people that are three or four times my age with lives that are completely broken at this point you know they had three four marriages or somebody in their family has died or you know someone is in jail and they're all trying to figure out what do they what, what do they do with the third or half of their lives left that they have and seeing that it's been kind of scary for me because I'm like okay well I'm one third there and I've already gone through a lot so I have still like two thirds more of pain ahead of me, you know, of what do you do with that when you see all these people? And um, so in a way, even though I haven't been doing the Camino, I've been invited by the openness of the people to do my own Camino um, in my own way. And I felt like I was, you know, my heart was, her as theirs and I was I, I needed to do that for myself so right now I'm in the process of doing this pilgrimage in my own way yeah. and can you say Bon Camino? Bon Camino